Dean D. Davis and LiveWeatherBlogs.com tonight with your Live Weather Blogs Overnight Edition. And we're also going to go into the severe weather that we've had today. Lots of severe weather occurring up in uh, the Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire area. Some in the Delaware Valley. Also the swap with the MCS that came down from Illinois, Indiana, from, and Kentucky at this time. And a couple of rain wrapped tornadoes back in uh, Kansas and back here in northern Missouri as well as an area that is up here in South Dakota in parts of Wyoming. As you can see we're taking a look at the radar picture here. We have an MCS that came down here caused some damage, some damage earlier. It's moved down into Kentucky. This will continue its eastward progression overnight into southwestern Virginia, possibly into Roanoke Valley. We have still some, some strong thunderstorms line up against it. Some damaging winds being the main threat. Also back here we have some so a, a new a line which is probably going to join to an MCS most of the system also forming along that front that's sitting along here it's stalled out and this did also shift itself moving itself to the east southeast also a few a, a couple hours ago we had uh, a few thunderstorms here that had some rotation uh, indicated in them here in, in uh, Massachusetts these are dying out also some dying out north of the Poconos and some thunderstorms down here near Chesapeake Bay and Delaware Bay. Taking a look at Tuesday's outlook, you can see a wide swath of severe weather all the way from Colorado all the way to the Jersey Shore. Once again, high winds, hail, your primary threat and also some threat here in northwest Nebraska and Wyoming, South Dakota and you can see where the greatest threat is going to be. It's going to be in Indiana, Illinois, parts of Ohio, in Missouri and also 15 percentile setting up here. Uh, this could be possibly some tornadoes in here. You can't rule out tornadoes anywhere in the severe weather profile, but the greatest threat is going to be high winds and hail in this area. And looking on Wednesday, you can see same general area right along that stall front and some isolated severe weather, Roanoke, Philadelphia, points east. And here you can see where the fronts line up and you see how it's all stalled out and this is continuation over the next few days of severe weather probabilities in this area just because there's going to be low pressure right along this front it's going to stall out so severe weather will be possible mainly in these areas in the next couple of days another front coming down slicing to the Delaware Valley also. Dealing with tropics we have an, uh, an area of disturbed weather tropical uh, not tri a tropical depression but it has a we were looking at a radar earlier a nice circulation near uh, north this is northwest of St. Lucia and near the island of Puerto Rico. You see where the models take it in the next couple of days. It's actually taking it to the Gulf of Mexico early next week. Here's a satellite picture. You can see this is it's got a pretty good generalized thunderstorm area um, formed over there, and we're putting the motion here. And you can see there's the, there's the actual center of the disturbed weather. And you see thunderstorms are coming around the center. So this is something we need to bear watching as it tracks its way to the west, west, northwest over the next few days. Now your forecast here for the Greater Roanoke Valley, 69 degrees tonight, mostly clear. It's going to be actually getting down a little cold. Isolated thunderstorms, very slight chance tomorrow, 90 degrees, 87. Wednesday with some more, a better probability of thunderstorms when that front comes into play. Also on Wednesday night, 69, 88 on Thursday, 95 to start that heat wave for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We're going to be about the same temperature Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with temperatures at about 95. And lows that might struggle to get to 75 at night and mainly dry during that period of time. Also in the long term looking at uh, some patterns for future months down the line we were we were I was taking a look at that earlier and there's actually and I'll bring these maps up probably in tomorrow in a blog a an area where the high will stay up way up north and cause a lot more heat waves to occur in the middle and to middle October and this will also be bad because high pressure to tomorrow. Anyways, that was your Roanoke Valley Forecast and your LiveWeatherBlogs.com Overnight Edition, this is Dean Davison, Studio Meteorologist for Live Weather Blogs, and have a great evening.